past weekend, but the top 25 rankings rankings are out again. Uh, the AP, AP top 25 and coaches poll have a very similar top 10. They all have Alabama 1, Clemson 2, Oklahoma 3, Penn State 4, USC 5. The first switch comes at 6 and 7. The AP has Oklahoma State at 6 and Washington at 7. The coaches have that flip-flop. Then you have Michigan at 8 for both sides. And then Wisconsin 9 and Ohio State 10 on the AP. And then Ohio State 9 and then Wisconsin 10 on the coaches' poll. So... Not too, not too big of discrepancies around there, but then once you get past the top ten, you start to see a little bit more yeah. um, uh, differences, I guess. It starts so, to fly a little bit. San, San Diego State entered the poll, entered both polls this yep. week. Oh, yeah. At 22nd in the AP and 25th in, in the coaches' poll. So that's that's the uh, the new team. And, Missis- and you have Mississippi State as well. They went jumped into 17. And 19. And 19, excuse me. Yep, and Utah jumped in to both polls, I believe. Yeah, 23 AP and then 21 for the coaches. And Oregon jumped in there at 24 in both polls, respectively. So that's some of the, the new teams that were uh, were featured in the top 25. And then there are some, a lot handful of teams that were dropped, actually. So Kansas State, Stanford, Tennessee, and UCLA both fell out or all of them fell out of the uh, AP, and then Kansas State, Stanford, and Tennessee fell out of the coaches' poll. So UCLA was not even featured in the last coaches' poll, so they were not able to to drop out of that. You can't drop out of something you were never in, (laughs) right? You got that right, Dan. (laughs) And uh, some other notable big moves. Uh, TCU moved up four spots to number 16 in the AP. Um, and they are 15. They moved up five spots in the coaches' poll, so they had a pretty resounding win this weekend at home against SMU. Um, Oklahoma State bumped up three spots, as I said, to number six in the AP, and they moved up one spot in the coaches' poll to seven. So, And then Vatek and Miami both moved up three spots, even though Miami has been idle since week one due to hur- the hurricanes that have come through Florida. And Vatek, after being down to ECU in the first half, they came back and had what was like 50 unanswered points, I think, Dan, against ECU to win like 67 to 17 or so. Or so it was 64 to 17. 64 they, 17. they were down 17 7. Yeah. And uh, then just went nuts. Mm-hmm. The offense just came alive, and Beamer Ball decided to stop the, the Pirates on offense. So, And he is, even though Beamer's not there anymore, I will still use that term for Vatek. Probably for the rest of my life, so go Beamer. But um, all right, here's some uh, this is where we get into the tricky part. Here's my top four teams going into the week, and I think this is how it should be if they uh were um if the playoffs play again yeah, today. If the playoffs again today. Yes, I have Alabama at one, even though Clemson has played the tougher teams and have the two best wins in the country. I still think Alabama is the best team. I think Jalen Hurts is better than Kelly Bryant, even though Bryant has been phenomenal this year. The uh, Bama, they have two better rushers in the backfield than Clemson. And I think the defenses on both sides, Clemson might be slightly better on defense, but I think Alabama is just as fast and just as big. Um, may not be as good up front on the D-line as Clemson. It's not... Not many people will be with two uh, with Wilkinson and um, who's the other one, Dan? D line, Lawrence. Clemson. Lawrence, excuse me. Yep, Lawrence. So two, uh, two, two of the best D linemen there. Got Clemson at two, Oklahoma at three, and number four was a was a tough one for me. I went USC over Penn State, and I have actually Oklahoma State as a close five, and Penn State as number six. So I kind of veer off from the top top four and. I'm not. I'm not a big Penn State fan, right? Just quite yet, Dan. Their um, their quarterback, he has not impressed me thus far. Um, I can't remember his name offhand. Starts with an M. I'll get to it in just a moment. <laughs> you know, um, th- th- these th- these are probably things that you should have. Well, yeah, <laughs> but I mean, you're absolutely right. I just there, there's so much to go on, so you you, you you can't you can't get everything right. I, I mean, guess. Di- di- let's see, what was the uh, Alfred Hitchcock movie? Dial M for murder. There you go. Yeah, uh, we'll, we'll take we'll take that. Tra- uh, yeah, here he is. Yes, Trace. Oh, this is going to be tough to pronounce this one. 
McSor- McSorley, I'm going to go with. McSorley, Dan? Yeah, yeah McSorley. McSorley. All right, got that one right. Yeah, he, he has been uh, unimpressive thus far in the, in the year. Uh, has not made the big throws as of yet, and I do I do think Darnold is a much better QB, and Oklahoma State is much da- more dangerous on offense with four really good receivers and their quarterback, Rudolph. My, my argument there would be, though, what, what kind of big throws – has he really had to make because they beat Akron fifty two nothing? They're not showing anything yeah. in that game. They beat Pitt thirty three to fourteen. But in that Pitt game, it was a lot closer in the first first quarter and a half, and he struggled mightily in that first quarter. But they won. They did win. And, to and, his credit, they and, did and, win. And then they they blasted Georgia State. Yeah. Uh, fifty six nothing. So they haven't really so, played anybody. So, yet. so yeah, they they really haven't been tested. So it's yeah. probably a little early. Sure. To to throw him completely under the bus, he I'm may not, he, he may have a foot on the on the I, bottom I, step. That, that's what I'm doing for sure. I'm definitely okay. putting him right there. But yeah, I, I just have not been impressed with Penn State on offense thus far. They got a really good rusher, but um, in uh in Barkley, but I I just don't think that Penn State is will be a top four playoff team come the end of the year. I think USC and Oklahoma State will battle for that number four spot back and forth for the duration of the year. McSorley, in three games, is completing 67.1% of his passes. Okay. 51 out of 76 um, for 753 yards. And he has – am I reading this right? He's thrown nine touchdowns. In three games and only two interceptions mm-hmm. during those three games, but he hadn't made any big plays. No, no, none. Nine touchdowns, <laughs> and two interceptions in three games, and he hasn't yeah, made yeah. any big plays. I, I, yeah, I've seen some video, Dan, and um, yeah, just not, not impressed. Okay, not impressed. All right, to my untrained eye, at least. Yeah, well, so. and, and you know, I, I, I always qualify that when I ask. Clay Hendricks questions about yeah. certain things. I always yeah. say in my untrained, non-coaching eye, this mm-hmm. is what I saw. You know, yep. what what did you see? Uh, so, so bottom line is you're not buying. What, I'm not buying what, the what Penn State is selling. Yeah, yeah, James Franklin right now. They, you got a good football team, but you got a little ways to go before you can jump into my mm-hmm. top four. Okay. Um, and just to, just to point out, SoCon John's point, I said, but but Clemson is a reigning champ. You're correct, but that is last year. This is a new team, new year. No Deshaun Watson. So it's a whole new ball game. I, I think – is it my turn yet? You can go. Okay. Yeah, I'll, thank, thank I'll, you. I'll, I'll let you talk. Thank you. On your own show. Yeah, I appreciate that. That's, that's, that's very kind of you, uh, former spotter for assaulting. Um, the, the significant question surrounding Clemson coming into this season – was quarterback spot and and i'm not you know unleashing any government secrets when i tell you that everybody knew that that was the big question on everybody's mind and and through the first two weeks of the season Mm -hmm. i think there were still some legitimate questions although i thought kelly bryant in the face of a a good auburn defense did did very well yeah um but i think the majority of those questions now have been answered after their win on the road at Louisville this past week. Is Louisville's defense as good as Auburn's? No, but going into a hostile environment mm-hmm. and performing the way he did, outperforming, by the way, the reigning Heisman Trophy winner, that is true. I think those questions are answered. So when, oh, when, when, when you combine the fact that they are the defending champs, so and, I, and, and now I don't think you, you can even put that in the equation but, that they're but, the defending champs. But it's always in the equation. Why do you think Alabama is ranked number because, one? Because they have Alabama's ranked number one because they won three championships in the previous four years. It's because they have the best players on their team. They have they have twenty. They didn't they, have the best players at the end of last year. That's I, that, they, that's that's arguable. That's arguable. Did they win the game? They did not. All right, then that, that, that doesn't mean they, that doesn't mean they had the best players though. Well, they, they 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 didn't have the best player. That I'll give you that. I can promise you that. I'll give you that there, Dan. I'll give you that. Listen, if if you don't think in these polls that reputation plays a major role in the human element of the oh, poll, def- you don't know anything about football. I'm saying it definitely does, but you, it, it, it's different between reputation and reigning champs last year. you got to put more emphasis on the players this year, and the reputation is that Alabama okay. always has the best players in the country. But you, Okay, but you just said you can't use reputation. 
in terms of you no you you you've confused what I'm saying the reputation is that <laughs> I think I understood perfectly <laughs> no I think the, the reputation is that Alabama has the best players and that that's what I'm saying about reputation and not last year's team well, last year's team did not win the national championship. That is exactly, yeah, for Cle sure. Clemson coming back, the biggest question about them was Kelly Bryant at quarterback. Yeah. I think those questions have been answered. Oh, there's I, no, there's no I, doubt. I think they they can be a championship caliber team with Kelly Bryant at quarterback. That's why I had them at number with, two. With, with yeah, that defense. I completely defense. agree. So because of that, I would put them at number one and Alabama at number two. And look, it's it's close. That yeah, line close, yeah. between the two teams is is, is razor thin. There, there's no question about that. But, you know, it, it's kind of like, Kind of like Ric Flair used to always say, to be the man, you got to beat the man. That's fair. Uh, so I, I would put Clemson one, Alabama two. Um, but what, no, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go no, ahead. go ahead. All right. I think that the pollsters got it right heading into this season. They didn't rank Clemson number one, and everyone said, oh, they're the national champions from last year. But they didn't take into consideration that fact. They took into consideration what Clemson lost on offense. Yeah, and, and there were questions, but yeah. again, I think those questions oh, have been answered. I, I'm, I'm just saying that the polls of this year did not... Who, who uh, Of the two teams, who has the best wins? Who's looked the best? I'm going to say Clemson, for sure. Clemson should be number one. But 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 Clemson has had... You, you can't fault Clemson for playing better teams early in the season than Alabama. I think Alabama throughout the year will prove themselves just fine, and I think... Uh -oh. What they well, had why? Because, because of that brutal SEC schedule? And SEC defenses, yes, sir, Dan. <laughs> have, you, have you been paying attention to what's going on in the Southeastern Conference? I have, Dan. It, 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 is, it, it is truly impressive, that, isn't yeah, it? You talk, about, you talk about someone living off of a reputation is the Southeastern <laughs> you know, Conference. You're absolutely right about that. Because right now, and, and, and it's, been, it's been going this way for the last few years, and mm -hmm. it's, it, it's getting worse. It ain't getting any better. Oh, you're right about it, that. It, it, this, is, this is Alabama yeah. and the 11 Dwarfs in the no, Southeastern Conference. I, I agree, except for Mississippi State. That's a good football team right there. Well, we'll, we'll find That's out exactly how team. good. But for the most part, it's Alabama and everybody else, and you've got, I'll, a, you've I'll got, agree a, with that. You've got a conference yeah. that's living off of a reputation. Can I say this too, Dan, but if you look at the, the, the top throated players – and the, uh, the the recruits every year, most of them do go to the SEC. So it's hard to fault them for saying that they're one of the best conferences in the league. They have some of the best players in all the land. If the majority of the, the top 300 recruits are going to SEC teams. I, I, I you don't, maybe, they, maybe they can't put it together on paper and make a good football team. Don't, don't, don't talk to me about recruiting rankings. <laughs> re re rec recruiting rankings. The only way that you can truly rank a recruit or a recruiting class is what they've done after they've been in school four or five years. That's the only way you can do it. Now, your guy can be an extremely good talent. He can mm -hmm. be a five star, and and I mean, you you can look and and people who are trained to do so can look and see. Yeah, this this guy is athletically supreme coming in, and he's mm -hmm. going to be a great player if everything works out. But when you're talking about actually ranking them and actually what a class does, you can't do it until their time is done. Uh, so I, I don't think so. I think. That first game when Jadavion Clowney played at South Carolina, you knew he was the best player in all the country coming in that year. He wasn't the best player in the country. Out of his recruits? I think so. No, I mean, I, I, oh, oh, you're not I, you're not talking about in the game of college football. I'm talking about in his class. He, he was by far okay. the, be, the best player in that class. So I think you knew that Look, I, pretty I, much right away. I, I just said that you can see that with some players. But when you sure. talk, when you yeah, talk yeah. about the wide body of, of work, when you talk about a a recruiting class mm -hmm. trying to rank them ahead of time is, is nothing more than a money maker for the recruiting services. Plain and simple, for, for the most part. But there, are, but there are, I guess, in the top twenty-five, you can pretty much distinguish who, who's the best. But once you get past that twenty-five or thirty mark, it is just saying, "Oh, we're throwing this guy uh, here, we're throwing that guy." Uh, here. We, we've we've gone down a, a rabbit trail. Yes, that's you got that us right. away. Clemson won, <laughs> Alabama two, as it should have been. Um, see, I. At three, at three and four right now, I'm going to be real honest with you. Mm -hmm. I don't think it matters who's three and four at the end of the season because I think we're going to get another Alabama, Alabama Clemson three. So I think I think oh, I honestly man. do. I think we're going to yeah. I think we're going to get the rubber match. I don't think you're wrong, Dan. I, I but, want to see, I want to see it too. But if I have to pick somebody, if I have to pick a three and a four, by the time everything is said and done. 
See, I, I'm I'm still having a hard time buying Baker Mayfield in Oklahoma. Hmm. But, you know, they got the win over Ohio State. Can in make, Ohio and, and Columbus, in Columbus. Can yeah. you make the argument Ohio State was overrated? You definitely could. But I'd say so. I, I, I will, Especially on defense. I will begrudgingly and reserving the right to change my mind at a moment's notice. As, give, as you always are, dude. Give Oklahoma the number three spot. Okay. And, and then at number four, who knows? Yeah. Uh, you know, by, I think it's about between three or four teams right now. You know, I I, I, I I would not totally discount Washington team that made it in there last sure, year. I can I agree with that. Um, but but ultimately, <clears throat> ultimately, I believe it's going to be Clemson and Alabama, and and then everybody else. Mm-hmm. So I, I completely agree with that, Dave. If you look at all the, uh, the, the 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 picks for number one this week, you have forty five in the AP poll. They got forty five of the sixty one votes. Clemson got fifteen. Oklahoma got one. Whoever that guy was, I don't know. Um, in the coaches' poll, Alabama got 59 first-place votes, and Clemson got six. So, obviously, those two teams are the most highly regarded in all the land. So, all right. I agree with that. Okay. But in terms of Alabama and Clemson, I'm sticking with Alabama. I think they're the better team on paper and on the field with their players. None of this uh, reigning champ stuff. I, I, <laughs> I, I, don't, I, I don't agree with you that they've got better players. I mean, I think when you start doing the position by position breakdown, the, these two teams are fairly even. In some regards, I, I, I'd say absolutely, but I think Alabama has a slight edge. I'm not saying Alabama is head and shoulders above Clemson. I'm saying that they are slightly better than Clemson. Well, we'll find out, won't we? Mm-hmm. M- most and likely. We, and, 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 oh, I, I think so. And, and you go on to the Oklahoma Ohio State game. Maybe we could say that Auburn. And Louisville are a little bit overrated. So maybe those wins don't mean as much later in the year. Uh, again, we'll find out. Yeah. We, we will find out. But right now, right, right now, those are the two best wins mm-hmm. among a among three wins for a team in college football. Mm-hmm. 